This is Rock Leach with Social Fire. Okay, Kirk Franklin, uh, late night, just chilling at the house, and he already tired, and he decided the best thing for him to do is to get on the internet and talk crazy and out the side of his neck about God. Man, hang up your phone and get off the internet. You don't want to miss this video. All right, this is Rock Leach with Social Fire. And y'all, I, I watched the video and I I was like, man, why are you on the internet? Why are you on here talking about God making no sense whatsoever? And y'all, this this what we're doing. We let Kirk Franklin tell us crazy stuff. Y'all, this, this was ignorant. Kirk, I don't know what you was thinking by saying what you were saying. You shouldn't have been online at all talking. I'm wondering. Man, what was you thinking? What was you thinking what you said? Okay, maybe I'm going to get on here and I'm, I'm going to tell them all this Bible knowledge that I know in my feelings. I'm going to get on here and I'm going to tell them. I'm going I'm to make it right. I'm going I'm to uh, tell them the reason why I shouldn't sing. I'm going to tell them to imagine me trying to get into the word I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna talk to him i'm gonna talk to him like like i don't be on stage with two little clothes on kurt franklin please hang your phone up and stay in your lane sir so what i want to do is that i want to go ahead and get into this right here and i want to show you what actually happened with kurt franklin let's go ahead and get into it i'm gonna play the video and let y'all see now i do want to warn you because i've got to stop this and i'm i am going to stop this uh a few times because i want to stay within fair use but more than that, I want to stop it to give you some biblical commentary to what he's talking about. Uh, you know what? Let me wait to the end, but I'm still going to stop the video because I got to talk to you. All right, Kirk, let's go. What you on here talking about? Lord, help him. Mm -hmm. So, hey, it is 1130 on the East Coast. I'm a little tired. A little sleepy so and honestly i feel like kirk is just saying that to give himself a way out i'm a little tired i'm a little sleepy all my people say oh <laughs> i think he's, he know he's finna say something ignorant so he's giving himself a way out that's what i honestly feel like you can't make me feel no other way there's no telling what i'm about to say No telling what I'm about to say. All right, you helping us. You helping us, Kirk. You helping us real good. Let's go. No telling how 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 real and honest I'm gonna be because I'm a little pooped. I'm a little emotional. Emotional. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little emotional. So, and because I'm going live, I'm not gonna be able to erase this. It's gonna be what it is. All right, so I have to be honest with you. I think that we got to reconsider this goal of making everything so pretty and wrapped in this pretty bow. Every time somebody is a Christian, they want to try to talk in ways where, you know, God did this. It's like this perfection of always wanting to have the answer and the scripture and the biblical reference for every little detail in life. Man, who are you talking about? Wanting to be perfect? Christianity is not about perfection. Who, who are you talking about? Who you been around, Kirk, that's doing this? I, I don't like, I'm going to tell you, I don't like that he's already painting with such a broad brush. He's using words like everyone and all Christians and, oh my God, just go on and say it was Kathy down at the corner market said something to you that you didn't like. Go on and say that and quit painting with a broad brush. Let's go. 
it's really beginning to piss me off. Oh! It's really beginning to be very frustrating because oh, it's like we want to quote and represent the things of faith that are comfortable for us. But again, when you're talking about a book that's full of liars, adulterers, whoremongers, murderers, thieves, like nobody in the Bible was pretty. Nobody in the Bible had this clean, pretty life. But in real time, y'all keep on. Did Kurt Franklin just try to discredit the Bible? Did he try to discredit the Bible by saying that it's only liars, thieves, adulterers? Uh, are you are you trying to discredit the Bible? This is now I'm I'm having a problem with this because if this is what you're trying to do. <sighs> Liars, adulterers, harmongers, thieves, and murderers. Y'all heard him. Are you trying to discredit the Bible? Because that's not the all that's in the Bible. And if any of those people started that way, they didn't end that way. God has God always finds us at a place of neglect, changes us through the power of Jesus Christ. And we come out different. We are born again. Kirk, what are you talking about? Because this is, you. what are you talking about? Let's go. Wanting to make everything so pretty and so packaged well that it's like, if your way was working, Christianity in America would be growing. There would be an increase. But it's like, you see the numbers. You see what? the numbers of people that don't believe. You see the numbers of people that are leaving, but y'all still want to keep holding on to the fact that y'all are, y'all are. Oh my Lord, Kirk, man. Oh. oh, you got a hell this in your mouth that we need to shut up. I'm not going to say shut the hell up because some of y'all would get offended by that. So I'm not going to say shut the hell up. I'm just going to say, be quiet, man. Be quiet. Um, so you're saying the numbers are down, which is to indirectly suggest that Christianity is only as powerful as its popularity. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Like being a Christian, we got to we're doing this by statistics, by a census, because the numbers are not up, according to you, Kurt Franklin that people, we should just move away from it. That's what you're indirectly suggesting. And I don't think you know how reckless what you're saying is. Why are we listening to Kirk Franklin? Boy, I'm about to start barcoding your music because if this is your theology, your ideology, ideology and your methodology of movement when it comes to the word of God, man, you not saved, man. You own something else. This is crazy. Why are we? <sighs> y'all, y'all gonna have to, oh my God. Because the numbers are down. We should stop. Is this. <sighs> Y'all, I. Why, why are we listening to Kirk Franklin? Why are we listening to him for theology's aspect? This man, what you're showing me. <laughs> is that you have so much room for God to really help you. I think this shouldn't have been something you should have went live on, but let's. Let's go, because the numbers are down, because the numbers are down. Y'all are like experts in the in the text, in the Aramaic, in the Greek, in the Hebrew, instead of realizing that everything in Christianity is not going to be wrapped in a perfect bow. Life is not fair. And life is not easy. Man, who are you talking about? Kirk Franklin, who you, you and your feelings and you, <laughs> y'all, I, I don't even know how much more this I can take because he just talking crazy. Who you, who you talking about? It was not easy in the text. It ain't easy now. I'm in Orlando. It's my, I'm, I'm not in Florida. And these people have been hit with all of these storms. Yes. Folk going through a lot of bull with the government. Insurance companies are leaving them without the houses getting fixed. Wait a minute. I know you're not complaining about people not getting money. Kirk, you're rich. Give them some money. Set up some things with your money. And maybe God put your feelings, put you in your feelings because you need to do something financially for these people. Could, could that be, Kirk? Could that be what you need to do? Put your money where your mouth is. 
and quit quit with this foolish theology that you on social media with. Um, you know, why don't you what if what if God is moving you to give your money? What about that? I'm just saying, y'all miss oh, Kirk Franklin. And y'all still want to throw scriptures at people. Well, here's a scripture that I want to throw at you. The Bible says rejoice with those that rejoice and mourn with those that mourn. Y'all are so pretty, wanted to wrap everything in a perfect bowl that you don't even give yourself a chance to feel the pain that people go through. Y'all want stuff, to, you want to throw scriptures and stuff so quickly that you just don't even give people the opportunity to mourn, to hurt. Kirk Franklin, what your scripture got to do? Why are we... Why are we listening to this dude? <sighs> Let's go. Hurt with people. Why don't y'all want to hurt with people? Why don't y'all want to feel the agony of what our species goes through as humans? Folk are going through, bro. And y'all want to be so quick to just keep throwing all of these bibliocentric ideals at people instead of going, man, I can't even imagine how that mama feels having to bury her third child. Bro, y'all got to y'all y'all got to help me. Y'all got to help me. Stop trying to make Christianity so perfect and pretty and let it be ugly when it's time to be ugly. Job's life was ugly. Joe's life was ugly. Paul's life in prison was ugly. Ugly. The, when you say ugly, that's subjective. Because what's ugly to one person may not be ugly to somebody else. My testimony for somebody to say, I didn't get nothing to eat today and I'm really struggling. To somebody that hadn't eaten in three days, my situation is nothing. So we have to be careful with what we call ugly, Kirk Franklin. Lord, this boy. <laughs> David's baby dying after his adulterous relationship with Bathsheba. That was Bathsheba. That was ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly. The storms of life are ugly. And life ain't fair. And God does not always make sense that's the truth but y'all want to throw y'all want to throw scriptures at that yeah but you man let let it breathe let it breathe don't be so quick to throw script let it breathe yes life is unfair and god does not always make sense scriptures uh kurt franklin what about third uh, psalms 30 and 5 uh weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning. What about those scriptures? What about those? I just don't get where you're coming from with don't throw scriptures. We use the word of God because our lives need to line up with the word of God. Even when our lives do not line up with the word of God, it is the it is the direction that we need to be pursuing. Uh, it's our guideline, our GPS, our, uh, you know, God uh, putting us where we need to be. It is the word of God. That's how we we live our lives. I don't get what you're talking about throwing scriptures and Kirk. I, I get what you said, but you said it so recklessly. You're you're not. Let's go. Period. Period. Let life hurt when it needs to hurt. That don't make your faith less. That don't make Christianity weak. Makes it real. So I was on one tonight. I'm sorry. Coming to Florida, seeing people not being able to pay for their houses, folk trying to figure out how they're going to make it. These hurricanes keep killing this state. And for me, man, it just, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, and I know some of y'all going to mad. I say pissed off. Well, you've heard me say worse. So if you're pissed off, stay pissed off because you just on something else. This is, as you say, pissed off. You, this is, this, I think I know how you feel watching this video, watching you say what you say. But it's just frustrating to me that I'm part of a community that wants everything to be pretty. Life ain't pretty for millions of people. And y'all got to get in the dirt and accept that. 
that your faith don't make everything pretty for everybody. Even though our faith is the anchor, it don't make the water that it's in pretty. Okay? That's it. I ain't gonna say nothing else. Please don't. Please don't. Y'all go listen to that new, uh, bye. Boy. Okay, y'all gonna have to help me because Kirk Franklin done put me on one. Uh, he said that he was peed off. He was pissed off, as he said. And uh, this is crazy. Uh, he got on here talking out the left side. Is that y'all? I'm just saying this. This is all bad. Kirk Franklin, let me let me help you. Um, rejoice with them. Rejoice. Agree with them. I, you 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 know. I don't even know. I'm believing because I'm my whole thing is let's look at what is this whole video about. I think that you're really just trying to. Uh, get ticket sales for yourself there in Florida because none of this made any sense. None of this made any sense. You're talking about the numbers being down. People are leaving Christianity. So the numbers are down, which is to indirectly suggest that Christianity's value or validity is based on the numbers of people who are a part of it. Come on, man. Do you hear yourself talking? This is how ignorant th this is how ignorant this is. And then you go on to talk about liars, adulterers, whoremongers, and but, but you're missing the whole side of redemption. You're missing the whole side of redemption and grace. You're talking to people when God found them as opposed to where, where they were brought to by the power of Jesus, Jesus Christ. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God, uh, uh, he came into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Listen, you're missing a whole lot of things here, saying that we should we shouldn't use scriptures, we shouldn't throw scriptures at them. What about scriptures of encouragement? What about scriptures of miracles that happen in the Bible? What about those scriptures? What about first? Uh, what about this scripture I'm gonna give you right here, which is uh, Romans uh, three twenty three and twenty four? For all, because you kept talking about folk is not being pretty. Uh, for all have sinned. And fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace uh, through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. It's so many things um, that are missed here by you saying what you're saying, because this basically actually acknowledges that everyone is sinful. But it also highlights that redemption is available to all through God's grace. Now, when we're looking at this. I understand that your feelings may be into people who have fallen off because and, and uh, ended up in calamity. But let's be real. Florida's not the only place suffering. You got Ethiopia. You got all kind of we got other calamities that are going on in this world. Hunger. You've got people who've been robbed. You got police brutality. You got all kind of things that are going on right now in this world. I don't see you making videos about them. You want like you want people to hurt. Listen, when a woman goes to the hospital and she's having contractions, it's her right to not feel the pain if she doesn't because they have medications for that. They can give you some medication so you can feel the pain or not feel the pain. I don't know what in the world you mean by telling people just feel the pain so you know it's real. Man, sit down somewhere. There are other scriptures that I could use for this. You can go and look at them yourself. We got uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 1. Uh, 27 through, uh, we got first Corinthians one, 27 through 29, uh, which says, but God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. Uh, God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and, and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. I'm going to go even further because y'all know I got a lot of scriptures right here. Let me give you another one right here. Second Corinthians uh, uh, 12 and 9 here says, but he, he said to me, my grace is sufficient. Hallelujah. I feel it there. My grace is sufficient for you uh, for my power is made perfect in weakness. What if those people that are there going through that God is doing something, he's showing them something, he's building them uh, in their weakness. Therefore, the rest of the scripture says, therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me. All right. I, I can go even further. I can go even further. Let's go here for you talking about that perfection. First John one, eight through nine. Uh, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves. There's another translation said uh, we lie <laughs> uh, to ourselves uh, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 
There are so many things and so many scriptures that I could bring up in this regard right here that Kirk Franklin was missing, that he was missing. We have to understand we don't know how God does what he does. The Bible lets us know my ways are not by, my ways are not like your ways. My even as the heavens are lifted up above the earth, so are my ways above your way. Live, we got to understand God is going to be God and we have to follow him. We have to follow him and not follow them. When I say them, I'm talking about people like Kirk Franklin. I think Kirk Franklin has so much money that he's becoming detached. Uh, from reality. And I think this was a whole marketing play. If you want people to come to your concert in Florida, man, get off your phone and just put out a marketing advertisement to Florida and tell them you want them to come to your concert. I'm just saying it's just crazy. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Jump in the comments. Let's go.